guys, welcome back to my channel and today's video is going to be something really, really exciting. I'm very, very excited to do this video because I know that this has been a much awaited video review. So today's video, I'm going to review this Peri Peri Airy Ink Velvet. So I know that it's really bad because I got all the shades. Um, I was actually contemplating on getting just one or maybe five but then I ended up getting all of them because it was just really difficult to choose among all the shades that you know whether to get the brighter ones or the more vibrant ones or the more muted ones so I just decided to just get them all you know less problem I guess so anyway this is the video that I'm doing today so I'm going to do a swatch review for this um, Airy Ink Velvet. I know it took me a while to uh, put together this video only because I was actually thinking whether I should buy this or not because I already have the Ink Velvet and I was thinking like it might be similar to the ones that I have so I was like huh, should I still get this or should I not but then I've read a lot of reviews and they said that this is actually better compared to the Ink Velvet so I was like okay I'll just get it and then let's see whether it is really good or not so I was like trying it out for a few days and I absolutely love it I think you guys will too so anyway let's move on to the um, swatch review for those of you guys who are new to my channel welcome to my channel and um, just how I usually do my lip tint or lip review is I do I try to do a gradient lip look first and a full-on lip and then I usually try to do the more um, the lighter shade or the more muted or nude shade towards the uh, the darker or the more vibrant type of shade only because it's usually quite difficult to see the natural pigments of it if you start with the more vibrant color so so that's how I usually do it so I don't usually do it in chronological order but I usually would put the the name and number of the shade so that you guys can tell uh, what shade I'm using and also you can go to the description box and description box and see what shade and jump to the timestamp that you want so anyway let's start doing the swatching so i will start first with the the number seven and this is my brown coral so um this looks really really nice i think it has that very uh, muted corally brown shade so let's start with the gradient lip look first So I just put a little bit of pigment at the middle of my lip and I just blended it using my lips and look how nice it looked like. So as you can tell it has that very nice effect for a graded lip look so loving it so far. Let's try on the full on lip. So guys, as you can tell, I'm not doing it very cleanly only because I'll be removing it anyway later. So this is the full-on lip. So as you can see, it is, it is still a coral shade, but then it's kind of on the, um, the muted type of coral. It's not the bright or the vibrant type of coral. So this is the number seven, my brown coral. Now the next shade that I'm going to swatch is something that I think would be my next favorite and this is the Dry Rose Brown number 10. Um, this has a very nice old rose kind of color in the packaging and I usually gravitate to this type of shade so I think this will be one of my favorite. So let's try on a graded lip look. So this is the gradient lip. As you can tell this looks very natural like kind of like your lip a very perfect MLBB type of shade so now let's try on a full-on lip so this is the full-on lip so I'm loving this shade I think this is very close to the dollish beige rose shade for the um, ink velvet line it reminds me so much of that and 
it's actually lovely. I think the only difference is a slight different pigment, but it's very, very close. So this is again number 10, Dry Rose Brown. And now the next shade that I'm going to swatch is I think the most popular from the first line of shades that they came out with. And this is number 5, Elf Light Rose. I always find that this one is always sold out when I was trying to when I was actually window shopping last time. So this is always sold out and I think this is one of the best shades I think from the first line of colors that they came out with. So let's try it out. So this is the gradient lip look. Now let's try on a full on lip. So this is the full on lip. So as you can tell, it's pretty close to the, um, the preview shade that I just swatched just a while ago, which is the dry rose brown. So pretty, pretty close. But I think there's a reason why this is actually sold out from the first few shades that they came out with because the first four, four colors was really vibrant. And I think this one is the only one that is very, very muted. So I think that's the reason why it's always sold out. So this is again number 5, Elf Light Rose. And now the next shade that I'm going to swatch is number 8. And this is Glip Brick Brown. So looking at the packaging itself, it looks very much like a, a darker terracotta type of shade. Looking really good so far. Let's see once we put it on as a grid of lip. Hmm. Look at the shade in the applicator, it looks very nice. So this is the gradient lip look. So it looks very much like your lip, a very, very natural kind of color. I'm loving it. I think this will be my go-to shade. Now let's try on a full-on lip. So this is the full-on lip. It looks very, very terracotta type of shade. I love it. So this is the shade um, and this is number 8. Sorry, this is number 8 Glimpse Brick Brown. And now the next shade that I'm going to swatch is very, very close to a flower pot color. I think this is... Um, more on the lighter type of terracotta type of shade and this is number six it brown orange so let's try it out so this is the gradient lip for some reason everything looks pretty similar in the uh, screen but this is the gradient lip look I love it I think this is good for everyday as well Let's try on the full-on lip. This is the full-on lip and I think it's really nice. It is really nice in actual, um, like if you see it in actual, because on the screen I'm not quite sure whether you can really see the natural pigments, but it's really looking really good. Um, it reminds me so much of one of the shades from the 3CE Mood Recipe Velvet Lip Tint. So I'm loving it so far. So this is the shade. Not very close to the packaging, but loving it so far. And this is number six, It Brown Orange. And now the next shade is a very nice wine red color. Well, it looks wine red from the packaging, but I don't think that it might be too close to this packaging. So. Um, let's try it out first before saying whether it's a wine red or not. But anyway, this is number nine. This is Legend Brown Red. So you might wonder why I'm actually swatching this when it's actually darker. Um, but then because uh, most of the, the remaining shades that I'm going to swatch is more on the vibrant type of shades. And with this one, although it's darker, it's less vibrant. And the thing is when you actually swatch a more vibrant type of shade, kind of leaves on more pigments so the reason why I'm swatching this now 
um, and then I still have four more left. So this is the wine red color, I think. So let's try it out. Well, it doesn't look like wine red at all. Um, it looks very... It looks very rosy red, which is really nice. More on... I would say it's close to a brighter old rose color. I love it. So let's try on a full on lip and see whether it will come out differently. So this is the full on lip. So as you can see, it's not very similar to the packaging. So the packaging looks like wine red color, but when you actually put it on your lip, it looks very much like a like a pinkish like a red brick brown color kind of like that so I'm loving it so far I love it for I think for a night or evening um, evening out it's quite perfect really loving it so this is again number nine legend brown red and now the next shade that I'm going to swatch and this is the start of the all the vibrant shades and this is the um, Beautiful coral pink and this is number four. So looking at the packaging right now, it looks very neon type of pink and I am really worried that it might be too vibrant, but let's try it out. It might be different. So let's try on a, f a graded lip first. Well, it's not so bad as a gradient lip. So as you can see, it gives you that very natural bite lip look, something like that. I don't know if that's even a term, but it gives you that um, that very nice tint on your lip. So I think with the vibrant shades, I think it's really good for gradient lip because it kind of gives you that very subtle type of, of color. Now let's try it on as a full on lip and see whether it will look brighter or more vibrant. So this is the full on lip and this is again number four, beautiful coral pink. I actually love it. I think it looks, it looks like a, a fuchsia pink color, which is really lovely. Probably not something that I would wear often as a full on lip. I think I would usually use this as a gradient lip because it gives you that uh, very natural kind of lip color loving this so far so this is number four beautiful coral pink so as you can see now now that I'm moving on to the vibrant color um, as I've said a while ago it's really getting more difficult to remove the pigment so I've already removed this using makeup remover wipes but then you can still see a little bit of pigment on my lips so I had to put a lot of um, a foundation just so that I can cover it up but that's what I was trying to tell you guys when I was um, when I was talking about the other color why I'm using well why I'm swatching the darker one before the more vibrant one because it's even more difficult to remove a more vibrant shade and now the next shade that I'm going to swatch is number two and this is pretty orange pink so looking at the um, the packaging itself, it looks a little bit daunting because it looks very neon orange. But let's see whether it's going to be something like this. But I don't think so. So let's try it out. So this is the gradient lip look. So looking at it, it looks very corally pink, which is really lovely. It's nothing like the packaging. So. Let's see whether a full-on lip would be different. So this is the full-on lip and looking at it, it's really lovely. I mean, it looks very corally uh, pink. 
so if you put it side by side with the actual packaging it's nothing like the shade so I'm loving the natural or the actual shade of it something that's wearable every day I would say so again this is number two pretty coral pink and now the second to the last shade that I'm going to swatch is this is number one and this is hard grapefruit so this shade, I can really remember that there's something similar to the Ink Velvet, I think that's so grapefruit. So this is more on the red-orange type of color looking at the packaging. So let's see whether this is going to be too vibrant, same as the So Grapefruit from the Ink Velvet. So at first application, you can really tell it's a vibrant red-orange. So this is the gradient lip look. So far it's looking really really good so far as a gradient lip. I think with this type of shades, uh, the, the vibrant ones, I think it's really perfect for a gradient lip. Like uh, look at this, it has that very red orangey type but then once you apply it as a gradient lip, it looks very nicely done. Like you can have that nice flush or nice um, I don't know like lip tinty stained type of lip so looking good so far as a graded lip um not really sure whether a full-on lip would look good on this but let's see so this is the full-on lip so as i've said it's very red orangey color so very close to the packaging color and very not your typical everyday type of lip shade um, yeah I think this shade is perfect for a gradient lip look and I think you can just combine it with a more muted color I think this is perfect but as a full-on lip I wouldn't like myself I wouldn't use it every day so yeah that's just me and again this is number one this is hard grapefruit so guys, as you can tell, my lips is now a little bit swollen and you can tell that it's really red over here just because when I was removing it, it started to really spread. So I tried to cover it up with concealer, but you can still see a little bit of pig pigment. So I'm really hoping that I'm really hoping that you guys can see the, 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 the shade as close as possible. But not to worry, I will try to put a clip where I'm swatching it at the back of my arm just so that you guys can see the actual shade of the, the lip tints. So now moving on to the last shade finally and this is number 3. This is sold out red. So there is also a sold out red in the original velvet lip tint. So I'm not sure whether it's exactly the same shade but let's try it out. This is actually nice. I love it as a gradient lip. It looks... It looks more on a... It looks very lip tint stain type of lip typical for normal Korean makeup. So loving this so far as a gradient lip. So this is the packaging so very not too close because the packaging looks extremely red but once you put it on your lips it looks more like a toned down vibrancy of red don't know what whether that makes sense but I hope it does so that's the um, gradient lip now let's try it on as a full-on lip so guys you might wonder why I'm not putting my lipstick properly I'm not doing it properly because I'm also removing it anyway so I just want you guys to see the full on lip but not really doing it very nicely. So this is the full on lip, um, looking really good so far. I think it's not as a vibrant red as what you would assume or what you would think because the, the, the actual packaging looks very very vibrant. But once you put it on your lips, it's more on a... How do I explain it? It's more of a... 
a different type of red, not the um, the crimson red. It's not like that. I would say it's a little. It, there's a hint of of pink in this red. So this is how um, the full on lip looks like. And this is number three, sold out red. So guys, these are all the shades that I have. This is actually in chronological order from um, from how I actually reviewed them and swatched them. So at the start of the video, I started from here and I ended here. I'll put the, um, the shade names at the very side here, just so that you guys can, um, can tell what are the specific um, shade name for this one. So guys, I hope that you find the last video clip very helpful. Um, I've actually swatched the uh, the lip tints um, side by side at the back of my arm just so that you guys can see the natural pigments without the stain on my lips because a while ago it was becoming very, very difficult to really see the natural shade or the natural color because um, there's a little bit of staining on my lips so it was really becoming very difficult. So I hope that that last video clip was helpful enough for you guys to uh, differentiate the color from each other. So now let's go on and talk about my actual thoughts about the product. So if you guys would ask me, I'm a little bit torn because I fell in love with the velvet lip tint, uh, the ink velvet lip tint. But with this one, it's just, it's just, it's difficult not to fall in love with this product because it's, um, I would, for me, I think this is an improved version of the velvet, the ink velvet lip tint. Sorry guys, I'm having a difficult time remembering it because there's a lot of lip tints around. But anyway, um, I think this is an improved version of the ink velvet lip tint. Um, I think with the ink velvet lip tint, it has that very thick, moussey, uh, type of texture but with this one I feel like they've improved the formulation of that one and included a little bit of liquidy type of, of ingredient so when I was applying it on my lips it feels a little bit uh, watery in a way it's not as whipped uh, as the um, the ink velvet lip tint but with this one once you apply it it's very light like you can really tell that it's easy to blend so when you apply a graded lip look, this is very, very easy to apply. It makes it so comfortable and so easy to apply with, you know, you don't need to use your finger to really blend it. You can just use your lips itself by doing that and you can easily have that perfect gradient lip look. So I am loving this so far because of that alone and because I'm the type of person who don't really want to wear uh, a lipstick or a lip tint that feels very thick on your lips so I'm not saying that the ink velvet lip tint is very thick on your lips but then if I would compare it with this one um, the ink velvet is thicker in a way and then you can actually feel something on your lips but with this one you can really tell that it's very very light on your lips so um, with that alone I think I'll go with this one most especially if you're you're going to wear it every day I think this is perfect for that but I think the only downside about, about this one that I don't really like is because um, of the packaging. The packaging is transparent. So if you have five or even more of this of this airy ink velvet and you put them side by side in your cupboard or I don't know, your drawer or something, you can't tell which one is which. So it's like, how would I know that this one is the red one or this one is the pink one when it's actually pretty much similar to each other. So I guess that's one of my concerns is like I need to keep the actual packaging just so that I know what shade I'm actually picking. So that's really just a minor thing to be honest. It's not really a big deal. It's just packaging anyway. But then I guess for those of people who just want to, to, um, to really see the actual shade once they're you know picking up any lip product, I think this is something that you might have to consider because you have to keep the packaging and sometimes I do keep pa the packaging but then after a while I usually throw them but with this one I really have to keep them because I have 10 of them and it will be difficult to really pick a, a color um, once it's actually side by side so that's really just a minor thing but that's a downside for me but in terms of price point, texture, consistency, it's actually 
really really perfect so in terms of the number of shades they currently have 10 shades they came out with 10 shades and I think they're coming out with five more which is a really big problem because it means that uh, I would be tempted to buy more but hopefully not because I think the shades that they're trying to come out with is pretty pretty close to what they already have so I'm not gonna be tempted to buy that but yeah, so those are my thoughts about the product. I think that is pretty much what you guys would be after if you're considering to buy this or the Ink Velvet. Um, I think there's still a lot more to talk about the, you know, the, the difference between the Ink Velvet and the Air Ink Velvet. And I will try and put together a video comparing those two because I think there's still more to talk about. So. I hope that you find this video very helpful. Thank you guys for sticking around to the very end. And I hope that this is really, really informative to you guys. So if you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you haven't already, please hit subscribe. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. My Instagram handle is down below. And if you guys have any questions at all, or you know, just want you just want to um, ask more about the product, just leave me a comment below. And yeah, I'm hoping to talk to you guys very soon. Bye!